How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this is pretty much everything you need to know about the all-star event in 2019 uh, NHL 2019 so pretty much there's a lot to really go through a lot of questions to be definitely answered but overall here's the content that was released all new Honda NHL all-star cards so tune into the NHL all-star game to see which players get boosted guys in other words here we go you get started by finding the cards in packs you use the collectibles in the set if you guys want to have a choice of one of those cards it'll be sorted by divisions i'll show you guys those sets in a second but in the end the all-star player items are boosted based on results from the all-star game skills competition and just the game in general but here we go uh the winner of each skills competition event will have three stats boosted to 99 the two goalies on the final winning team will have their entire stat lines and overalls increased by two for any goal a player scores in the All-Star game. Their entire stat line and overall will be increased by one and the MVP of the All-Star game will be awarded with two additional synergies. So that's not bad. Uh, then obviously there's just alumni stuff. Patrick Waugh has two BUs. That's definitely an expensive card. Prime time, that's great. Still the char is out. But anyway, here we go, guys. The All-Star sets. So here it is, there are four, of course, because there's four divisions in the league. So you trade in 16 collectibles for a choice pack of three players from that division, I assume. And uh, yeah, actually you trade in uh, four of each, four of each division, and you can do it. So I mean, that's for any set, of course. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad, obviously. You know, it's, it's obviously a little underwhelming. I was expecting potentially like a master set, you know, card or something like that. So it's a little disappointing in that aspect, but I mean, whatever. You'll take what you can get, of course, but that's it for the sets, pretty much. Guys, here's my reaction to a poll that I didn't expect to get, so here it is. <gasps> and then, guys, we got the hut challenges for the all-star event which I already did one. There's a daily challenge you can do, just win the game. I don't think it's anything crazy, but you have 10 challenges you can do. Uh, you get an NHL All-Star reward. We don't know what that really is yet. Uh, January monthly collectible, that's not bad. The All-Star reward, you never know. Bronze pack, choice pack, that's not bad. Customization pack, another monthly collectible, another customization pack, and a contracts pack, so that's not bad either. Uh, and then obviously you got the mini pack, which I've done already. So that's, you'll take that. I mean, you appreciate that from me. You really got to appreciate that, I'd say. So, yeah, but those are the challenges you guys can do. Uh, the pack is untradeable, by the way. Uh, another question that people have been asking, and guys, another question people have been asking, are Evo cards going to get upgraded? They are not. They actually have no impact, the new All-Star cards. The new All-Star cards have no impact, believe it or not, guys. So, I mean, honestly, that's pretty unfortunate to hear if you're an owner of an Evo card because, well, what are they even worth in the end, right? It's, it's unfortunate because, like, think about it, they're going to be getting upgrades those All-Star cards, so essentially they're Evos. So it's it's unfortunate for Evo owners. That's why I just never really thought Evo cards were a good investment, but, yeah, that's really all I can say about that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but they do not get upgraded the Evo cards. And then, guys, these are the packs that are released. Very similar format. 25k, 50k, 100k packs. Pretty much the same as all the other events. Uh, obviously, a good chance of getting the collectible. Not 100%, but a very good chance. Uh, these aren't really great packs. I mean, I don't know. In general, I don't really suggest buying packs, but I mean, it's all you know up to you guys in the end. I'm not going to tell you not to do something. I mean, it's your opinion, your money, your coins, whatever you want to do with it. You can always buy it. That's up to you. And then, guys, we got the competitive seasons, which I really like, actually. The rewards are insane for the season. Top 50, you get a 92 overall Eric Stahl. The synergies, there's four of them on it, so it's a very good card. FM, TB, NP, and FS, which is a new synergy. Fine shooting, I believe, is what it's called. Plus three to, I think, balance and, and shooting, wrist shot accuracy, something like that. Uh, I don't think it's really a public thing of what it is exactly, but then you also got the Ryan Johansson, Brock Besser, and Wayne Simmons. So for top 500, you do get a card, which you gotta appreciate, obviously. That That is nice that EA did that. Uh, round one, you got the packs, of course. The all-star packs makes a lot of sense, of course, to give all-star packs. Uh, top, I mean, everybody gets all-star packs, unless you're obviously 5,000 or more. So that's not bad. Then round two, I really question why ultimate packs. Ultimate packs are so bad. The rewards are actually worse for round two than round one. So I don't necessarily understand that uh, logic, but 
Yeah, that's that's really what it's looking like. So the season rewards, obviously, what you're working, you're definitely working towards. I'm gonna try to get top 50, if not at least top 100 for Ryan Johansson. But yeah, I mean, these are pretty decent cards. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean, the event's a little underwhelming for me, just because I really wanted some master set cards. I just feel like we're getting a lot of the same cards now, and just I don't know. I mean, I was looking for some cool cards, maybe some like legend, uh, you know, set players, but. I don't know, I mean, nothing really like that crazy, kind of just a very similar format to the EVO event, so a little disappointing for me, personally, but, I mean, it's it's a lot of content, it's new, obviously, you'll take what you can, alright? So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, if you guys are new here, I appreciate it, as always, and I'll see you guys later, see you in the next video.